All right, as a part of this uh, assignment for the next two weeks, everybody in the class is going to be adding their R code solutions to a few of the harder problems to a central repository so that everyone can see everyone else's code. And we're going to do this um, by forking a repository and then each of you will contribute new code and then use a pull request to merge your new code into the main document. So this assignment will be a good way to learn how to do this kind of stuff. How do we do it? I've logged into a temp temporary GitHub account so I can pretend to be um, somebody else who doesn't have access to my main GitHub. And I'm going to search for what is it? It's actually Crump Lab 7709R problems. I'm going to send a link to this to everybody. Okay, so here's a GitHub repository that I created. And it's got two RMD files, one called fizzbuzz.rmd. Here's what it looks like. Uh, the idea is everyone in the class is going to add their own little part just like this by replacing your name and then putting your code right here that solves the fizzbuzz problem. By the end of the day we'll have a big long list of everybody's solutions in this document. I'm going to also do that for the snakes and ladders problem. Okay, so considering that this repository is on the Crump Lab GitHub account, how can you gain access to it and uh, request uh, that changes be made to this? Like, how can you add your stuff to these files? Here's how to do it. The first thing you need to do is fork this repository. So we can click the fork button. And we'll see that it's doing the fork, which is basically copying um, the repository to your GitHub account. You can see that has occurred. Where are we now? Well, we're in my GitHub account called BC Testmat. There are six repositories here. Here's 7709R problems, the one I just copied over. All right, so now this is uh, being copied but it's still only on the website. The next thing we need to do is clone this uh, to your desktop. So we'll open up GitHub Desktop here. And we can just click this tab and choose the Add button. Now we want to clone the repository this time. And the new repository should show up in the list. If it hasn't, yes, you might you might try refreshing this. But here it is, BC Testmat 7709R problems. Uh, I see an error. I, the reason for this error is that I had made a copy of this already. So let's say you didn't already have a copy of this folder. Um, so, for example, I could go to the desktop. I need to find the folder R7709. Where is it? 7709 problems. Here it is. I'm just going to delete this. And how do I move to trash? Okay, so that's gone now. If we go back to GitHub Desktop, we see that problem goes away. I'm going to save this to my desktop now. Choose clone. All right. What we should have, if we go look at that folder, and one way we can do that, we could just click on the repository and view the files in the finder. So let's click show in finder. So now we've got that folder and we've got the, the files that were in the GitHub uh, version. 
right downloaded to our local computer. So let's open up the R project. And I'm going to add some of my own code to the fizzbuzz.rmd file. Looking through that here, I'm going to leave this part the same just as an example, but I'm copying it and I'm adding my own stuff here. So I'll use that's code. And I happen to have the, some code to solve the fizzbuzz problem already loaded up. I'm just going to go get it. Here it is. I'm copying that and I'm pasting that inside here. I'm just going to make sure that it works. Press play. So it prints that stuff out. And let's knit this document. All right, so that updates the HTML. We can see that here. Okay, so my code is working. I can see the output. Um, but I'm just going to actually turn off the, the printing of this because it's quite long. Change that to eval equals F, capital F, and, and now the document will just look like that. So we've done two things. We've, I've made my addition here, and I've knit the document. So let's go back to GitHub Desktop. We can see that some changes were made. I'm going to make this full screen. So I'm going to say Matt's solution as my description of the changes. I'm going to commit this to master. Now I'm going to push so what's happened here if we go back to GitHub we should be able to reload this page and see that oh yeah look 17 seconds ago my solution was uh, added to the RMD document. If you look at it now, you can see I've added this part. And that's great. Now, oops, where are we here? 7709 problems. Now notice this. It says this branch is one commit ahead of Crump Lab Master. Remember, we've taken a copy of the repository that is stored on Crump Lab that is also called 7709R problems. And now we've made an, a new addition to it. And what we want to do is make a pull request. And this will allow us to transfer uh, the new changes here to the main repository in Crump Lab. So to do that, slide over here, and there is a pull request option. So let's choose that. Probably something like this, see something like this, able to merge. These branches can be automatically merged. For now, we won't change any of these things up here. And we're just going to create that pull request. And uh, you can give a name for this, it could be your name or some way to identify that you're asking to make some changes. So let's create that pull request. All right, and that is it. Uh, what's happened here is now being sent over to the Crump Lab GitHub account. And we're in the 7709 problems repository. I just want you to notice something here. Because we're looking at uh, the main account, let's look at the RMD file, fizzbuzz. Okay, notice it doesn't yet have the new changes. That's because as the owner of this version of the repository, 
I need to accept those changes. This is something I'll do, you don't have to worry about that. Um, but you can see here that the pull request is showing up. There's one request, so that means that uh, I'll need to go in here later under my main account and accept this. All right, so that's an example of forking a repository, cloning it, and contributing new code using the pull request. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, your solutions to these two problems.